Virginia City Report, man. Coming back at you with a few updates. Now, police are on the hunt for a woman um, who's indicted on a robbery that happened on the 4400 block of Louder Road. I put an image of uh, the lady for y'all to see, man. It's just, it's a string of robberies um, that's been happening. Now, on the 14,300 block of uh, Sam Houston Parkway North, man, on the 27th of last month, we have another individual who looked like they robbed a restaurant. Restaurant robberies, unfortunately, are so common and it's so stupid and petty. A lot of these individuals, man, just stealing for nothing. Now, it looks like there's a lady who was uh, suspected of kidnapping with a stolen vehicle with a child uh, who's kidnapped in the back seat, man, on the 5600 block of Aldine Bender. This happened on the 6th of March. A uh, police or the violent crimes unit is looking for this, uh, this lady on the screen here. If anybody knows anything, 713 two tips uh, Recently, ladies and gentlemen, a couple weeks ago, I know I'm switching gears. There was a Houston firefighter who got caught up selling a massive amount of, uh, what is it, methamphetamine and other sorts of drugs. There's been a couple of shootings that happened uh, as of recently throughout the city. Domestic violence is a major issue. We had a man who, uh, with a SWAT standoff, he wound up shooting himself. I don't believe the man died, um, but I do believe that he's critically injured and it looks as if he's going to make it. But it looks like a woman was shot when her neighbor opened fire from his apartment after barricading himself inside early Monday morning. This morning, ladies and gentlemen, this happened at 2 a.m. or around 2 a.m. on the 2600 block of Yorktown after a disturbance. Now, according to the cops or police, officers found a man standing on his balcony and there was some yelling between the man and the officers, etc. Now, it looks like there was a, a SWAT standoff. The man barricaded himself inside after the police showed up. They were trying to negotiate with him for a few hours. But it uh, looks like after he came out the balcony a few times, man, armed and sometimes unarmed, he got another rifle and he fired the round uh, through his door. Okay. Now, after the sixth shot, looks like the man who was still on the phone, negotiators, looks like he shot himself. Um, like I said, it doesn't look like he's been killed, but he's just in critical condition. It looks like he shot himself in the stomach. He didn't shoot himself in the head, which is a positive. But ladies and gentlemen, this is another case of domestic violence. It's where it always starts. It's the Bayou City Report, but y'all stay safe out there. Make sure to uh, subscribe for more, man. Appreciate the support. Y'all take care. God bless.